Alright, back with another leak video. We're looking at Centro leaks again. You guys know about Centro. Looking at Centro leaks again. Alright, some updates, apparently, to this chart here that we covered before. Here's the list of all currently leaked regional forms. Cross-gen evolutions, ancient future species, and convergent species. Update number three. So apparently there's two other updates. The ones marked in red are currently unconfirmed, but have been hinted by leakers. Personally, I think everything here is unconfirmed until proven. But apparently Centro thinks these in black are confirmed. But to me, even the ones in black are still unconfirmed because we haven't actually seen any concrete proof of them. Like in trailers or official like info from the Pokemon Company or Game Freak. or We definitely haven't seen them in game because the games aren't out yet. So unless like one of those three things happen... Pokemon Company releases a trailer with these things in black, or Game Freak releases something with these things in black, or the games come out and we see these things in black. These things in black are also technically unconfirmed, just like the things in red are, according to this over here. But that's just my personal opinion. Oh. I think there are some updates, actually, because I don't recall this mentioning Volcarona before. Let's go over these in case we miss, in case there's something that's not in here. That, in case there's something that's not in what we've covered before. Something we may have not seen yet in this chart. Something new. There's Wooper getting a poison form. Not sure how that's going to work. Tauros, okay. Typical guess, considering the region is seemingly based on Spain. Seems like a typical guess. Primeape, new evolution. Primeape, interesting. Wooper, Murkrow. Why would you replace Honchkrow? Why would you replace Honchkrow? Unless it's a split Evo. Dune Sparse. Now, as I've said before, I'm pretty sure people really want a Dune Sparse Evo. Me, I'm not sure what to think. Giraffe Ring. Now, we've covered, you know, stuff about Giraffe Ring before. Pawnyard. Now, here's an interesting concept. Pawnyard getting a new evolution. What does that mean for B-Sharp? That is an excellent question. Jigglypuff. Ancient species, Jigglypuff, Amoongus, I believe we've seen things about them before, Mistrevis, again, we've seen things about Mistrevis before, but Volcarona, I don't recall seeing anything on. How would that work with Volcarona, an ancient species? How would that work? And also, bigger question, Delibird? We've seen that one. Gallade. Now, how would Gallade's future species work? And the question mark kind of makes you wonder what that is. Big mystery there with the question mark. Gen 5 bug. Now, there are a bunch of Gen 5 bugs. Escavalier. Excelvor, I think. Like Escavalier, Esc Escavalier, Excelgor, things like that. But I really don't. No. You know, S. Cavalier, S. Cavalier, Excelgor, things like that, but I really don't know if, like, those would get a future species, but this does say supposedly a Gen 5 bug, and supposedly Salamence and Tyranitar. So, Interesting concept, right? Salamence maybe getting a future form or an ancient form, and Tyranitar, same thing. Maybe getting a future or ancient species. I have no idea. 
What do you guys think about that? What do you guys think they do with the future or ancient version of Salamence and Tyranitar? I'm not sure. Anyway, we've seen stuff about Diglett. In this water type, Gen 1 water type. Now, I didn't really play Gen 1. Uh, full disclosure, I started with Gen 4. I started with Sinnoh, so I didn't really play Gen 1, so I'm not sure what exactly the water types in Gen 1 were, but... Because, like I said, I started in Sinnoh, started with Gen 4, if I recall correctly, started with Gen 4, so I'm not sure what the Gen 1 water types would be, but apparently there's supposedly a convergent species, RF fake, in other words, for a Gen 1 water type. What do you guys think about that? Note, Salamence and Tyranitar share a cell because we don't know which one is the ancient and which one is the future. Oh! So, what do you guys think? Do you think Salamence is going to be the one with the ancient species, or do you think it's Tyranitar? Which one do you think is going to get which? If these get either. If these get either, which do you think would get which? I don't know what to think. What about you? Let me know in the comments. Wait, aren't we supposed to get a new B-sharp evil? Not Ponyard. Centro replies, nope. Centro replies, nope. Ponyard is getting a new split evo. Interesting use. The term split evo. Maybe that means that uh, B sharp is still in the game. I don't know. And this one says the Gen 5 bug isn't Volcarona? Centro's reply one leaker said there's a Gen 5 bug with a future species. The other one said Volcarona is getting an ancient species. Unless one of them is lying or confused, that means those are actually two different Pokemon. Now, what do you guys think? Personally, do you think they're confused and maybe they're both referring to the same thing and getting things confused? I don't know. What do you guys think? Are they confused or are they just lying through their teeth? Hmm... I don't know about you, but I have no idea, personally. I think maybe they're a bit confused, and maybe they're just thinking of the same thing, but they can't agree on which one it is. I don't know. Maybe they're lying through their teeth. What do you guys think? I'm not sure what to think. personally. But that's just me. Not seeing anything down there. All right, folks. I'll see if I can't find anything else to cover for the last part of the video. All right, gang, found something. We're looking at Pori Leaks now. I'm sure you've heard of Pori Leaks. I'm sure you've heard of Pori Leaks. Scarlet and Violet Leaks Part 3. Spoiler warning. So if you don't want spoilers, click off this video right now. Apparently. Kaka info. Wait a second. Doesn't Kaka mean poo poo? That's what I've heard. I've heard kaka means poo poo. Anyway, Primeape has an evolution. We've seen stuff about that before. Salamence, ancient future concept. Seen stuff about that before. Porygon is not in the Pokedex. Now, I personally am not a big fan of Porygon, but that's just me. I don't know if you guys are, but if you are, sad day for you, I guess, if this is true. 
Meltan is not in the Pokédex. Another thing I'm not really a fan of, but if you are a fan of Meltan and this is true, then sad day for you, I guess. No breeding. But there is another method for getting eggs. Now, let's get a little bit into this. Now, why would they remove breeding? That is a good question. I mean, is there another method? Apparently, there's another method for getting eggs. So the bigger question, what exactly is this other method? What do you guys think? I don't know. Maybe you go on an egg hunt. <laughs> no, no, you don't go on egg hunts. It's a silly idea. Go on egg hunts. <laughs> a little joke there. <laughs> Just me trying to make a little joke there because it says another. Uh, it said another method for getting eggs. So I thought I'd make a little joke there about egg hunts. <laughs> anyway, Magikarp is in the Pokédex. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised about Magikarp being in the Pokédex. Not surprised at all. There is a Psychic-type Ostrich Pokémon that supposedly resembles Cleopatra. Okay. Why would an Egyptian pharaoh be represented in a game that is supposedly... In a region based off Spain. If any of you know why an Egyptian pharaoh would be referenced in a game whose region is supposedly based on Spain, let me know. Because I am thoroughly confused about that. Also, why is it an ostrich? Wouldn't it be more of a humanoid thing than an ostrich if you're going to have it resemble Cleopatra? Wouldn't it be a more humanoid thing than an ostrich if you're going to have it resemble Cleopatra? I am thoroughly confused. If you know why an Egyptian pharaoh would possibly be, you know, the inspiration for a Pokemon in a Spain-based region, let me know. There's a new feature similar to raid battles. Now that's an interesting idea. I have no idea what this feature could be, but you never know. Story spoiler. If you don't want to know this, do not watch the video. You cannot use your Pokemon during the final boss. Coridon and Muridon cannot be used until after the final boss battle. Today is a sad day, according to Porygix. Today is a sad day. Not sure what it's a sad day about, but I'm guessing it has something to do with this. Now. I'm not sure what to think about the idea of not using your Pokemon in the final boss. And Coridon and Miraidon not being usable until after the final boss battle kind of makes sense. But you not being able to use your Pokemon during the final boss? Why would they do that? Unless there's something else you use. I don't know. I guess we'll see if this is true. What happens? But on another note, that's it for this video. And remember, these are all just alleged leaks. So take these leaks with a huge grain of salt because they're just alleged leaks. So take them with a huge grain of salt. But anyway, that's it for this video. See you in the next one.